Number five, write the nuclide notation, including charge, if applicable, for atoms with the following characteristics. And then we have our example right here. So we have to write nuclide notation for something that has 45 protons, 24 neutrons, and 43 electrons. Okie dokie. Now, first things first is what is nuclide notation? Well, I made a blueprint for you. It's going to be color crazy, but you know who I am, right? We love colors over here. So the template is this. There's a maximum of four different slots that we have to write in. Now, these two numbers over here represent numbers. I just said that, right? Duh. But these two are going to be numbers. This, which we'll say right now, this is going to be your element. But we don't write out the full element name. We write out its symbol, whether it's Na or Mg or Be or Li. And then this up top here is going to be our charge if we have one. If we don't have a charge, well, then we just get, you know, this just goes bye-bye and the whole thing goes by. And then now you have three boxes. So first things first, let's find out what element we have. Now, the element is always going to be based off of the number of protons. And remember, the number of protons is called the atomic number, which is one of your number boxes. The atomic number is always going to go on the bottom. So let's just write that out. So this is the atomic number slot. And the atomic number is just a cool way for saying, hey, it's the total number of protons. And they told us straight from here, we got 45 protons. So I'm just going in and I'm saying, hey, the bottom number should be a 45. Now, every element has its own unique number of protons. It's the whole number that um, is on every, you know, element. It is not the decimals, so don't pay attention to the decimals. But if we can see in period 4, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, if you increase your atomic number or you increase your number of protons, boom, you become a brand new and different element. So we have to scan the periodic table for number 45. Lucky 45, where are you? And I see you right here, rhodium. And there's that 45. So now we know the element. So I'm putting a big RH right here. Two out of the four, done. Now let's do the top one. The top number is the atomic mass. So we got the mass on the top and the atomic number on the bottom. Now just know that the atomic mass is always going to be a higher number than your atomic number. Why is that? Because this is the bulk of the mass of the, um, the atom, which comes from the nucleus. So we have to ask ourselves, what subatomic particles are in the nucleus? And there's protons and neutrons. Keep in mind that, remember, the electrons are outside the nucleus um, because they're in orbitals and shells uh, revolving around the nucleus. So we already know that we have 45 protons. And now how many neutrons are we adding? We're adding 24, right? So we just have to add 45 plus 24. If you need to put into the calculator, that's fine with me. Uh, seems like this is going to be a 69, right? 4 plus 2 is 6, 5 plus 4 is 9, so 69 goes on the top. And big number on the top, small number on the bottom, we're doing good. The last thing is we just have to fill in the charge. Now this is where all your positive charges are combating with the negative charges. And who's going to win? The one that you have more of is always going to win. But now the question is, who has positives and who has negatives? Well, P positive, P proton. So your protons are the positive charged atoms. And since you have 45 protons, and each proton is a plus one, you have 45 pluses. So we have plus 45 coming into the combat zone. But now we just gotta find out who has the negatives. And the subatomic particle, the electron, is the negative particle. So I got plus 45s coming in with minus or negative 43s. And they're coming to war with each other. 
who is going to win and what's the overall charge? Well, we could just figure this out by just doing 45 minus 43, right? 45 minus 43 is, is 2. And you have more protons. I mean, you have 45 over 43 electrons. You have more of these. So your overall charge is going to be positive, and it's going to be positive by 2. So that's the charge that goes here. Whether you want to put plus 2 or 2 plus, uh, it doesn't matter to me. Sometimes I write plus 2, sometimes I write 2 plus. Just, just know that it's the same. I'm just going to put plus 2. And now, these are all done. So this is your full nuclide notation. 69 on the top for the atomic mass, atomic number, 45. This is rhodium, RH, and then it's a plus 2 charge, and that is it. What'd you think? I hope this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Tell your friends, tell your classmates. And uh, we also have memberships on the channel. If you, if you want to become a member, that would be awesome. Um, yeah, four different tiers. So go check it out. And I will see you. Well, I'll talk to you in the next lesson, all right? Have a great day. Happy studying. Bye-bye.